What is up, guys? Pone here, and today I'm here with Kira again. Now, you just graduated, right? Yes. Graduated. Finally. <laughs> no more HVZ on campus for you? Probably not, no. No. So what, how are you going to quench your HVZ desires? LARPs. LARPs. You were at uh, Call of the Void. I was at Call of the Void, and I also go to Spite. Spite's a pretty big deal, in case you, haven't, <laughs> in case you didn't know. It's pretty big in Washington State. Anyway, we're going to review not a blaster today, but I think it's a hip waistband holster. I don't know, there's no real picture, so... No picture, and this is by the brand Little Valentine. Go, go, go. Let the battle begin. I wasn't expecting this to have any silly translation things on it, um, but if you want to actually read what what we're opening right here... Waist bag and wrister. Yeah, we're going to get a wrister and a waist bag. I was hoping for a holster, but apparently I bought a waist bag. <laughs> now you go for the drop leg. That's your thing. Yeah. This, I guess, obviously, a waist bag goes around the waist. Literally. Cool. Get a little bag. Yeah, so that's a little nice. little Valentine on it. That's for your uh, crown royal <laughs> to go in. No, eight. Whoa! This actually comes with suction cup darts and a variety pack of every color that Little Valentine manufactures. That's neat. That's actually really cool. I think they are. They're a third party dart manufacturer as well. Yeah, and they actually look normal size, unlike some of the other shorter Chinese darts. But the tip is a lot harder than Nerf. Yes. These would not be legal on campus. Not even a little bit, no. <laughs> Yeah, this this would leave welts if it's fired really hard. Who doesn't love welts though? It's <laughs> probably a few of our players. Uh, you airsoft. That's true. That's like she went this weekend actually. That was fun. Yeah, and they all say little Valentine on them, which is kind of weird. All right, let's crack open a wrister. We get two wristers. Judging by the name wrister, I'm assuming this goes on the wrist. A little loose wow. on my wrist. Yeah, it's loose on my wrist too, but I don't know. Maybe it's an armor. It is stretchy. Will you help me? <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Oh, nice. So th I guess this holds holds all your multicolored darts that you got from Little Valentine. Fit in it. Wow. Okay, yeah, it actually holds them. So that's neat. They don't just like slip through. Plus, you look cool. <laughs> I was really just going for the holster. I didn't realize you got a, ri a couple wristers as well. If you're trying to go for a stealth tactic, you could wear this like under a jacket. All right, the wrister. I give the I give the wrister a thumbs up, considering that I didn't know I was getting it. So I think, given the stretchiness and the fact that it's Velcro, this would really fit on anyone. Just because if you've got a large wrist, it will fit nicely on your wrist. And if the uh, if it's too big for your wrist, it should fit somewhere on your arm. It's fit around <laughs> your bicep. Don't be flexing. Nice. The wrister or the biceptor <laughs> as well. Though I do feel like I would probably lose feeling in my arm oh, if I kept this on for too long. Yeah. Not a tourniquet. <laughs> Don't use it as a tourniquet, though you could. Oh my god. Alright, now to get the actual product out. The waste bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get some guns. I forgot. I don't have any handguns down here. Do you want to figure out how to get that on yourself? Uh, I think... Okay, so it looks like you could probably wear this in two different ways. Uh, you could either wear it as uh, a double-strapped drop leg holster, because it's got two straps that are really big, um, but they also seem to be about the same size. Or you could loosen one and wear it around your waist and just have one strap on your leg. Do it. Oh my god. Make it be on you. <laughs> one for the thigh and one for the waist, huh? Yep. Let's start jamming different guns in this. Smallest gun, we got a pink crush. Fits perfectly, oh, actually. Pink crush is very nice. That's, yeah. All right, pink crush is in there. Yep. Fits securely, doesn't wiggle around. Can you make it bigger? Uh, I don't know if the hammer shot's gonna fit. Uh oh. Boom. What do you think? The Velcro is a Velcro I think strong hold. enough yeah. to keep it's, that in place? It's actually really sturdy on the actual. Uh, waist bag itself. The waist bag is <laughs> very sturdy. So, the, nice. the straps are a little flimsy, but they also feel like they're holding all right, so. Fire strike? Fits. Simple to use. I have noticed that with some of the drop leg holsters, there's like a thousand little different bits of Velcro that come off, and 
So this one is actually very straightforward and simple. Yeah. Um, the one thing I would note though is that the bottom doesn't have like a strap going across it. So anything that you put in there, make sure that it's secure and it's not just going to fall through. Well, that proton. You can maybe, like that's held on by maybe like three hooks, but... <laughs> Alright, strong arm. Yeah. Very secure? Not super secure, but... Or well, maybe if you push it down a little farther. Yeah. Hmm. I could run with that. Put the Velcros, Velcro stand and stand put? Yep. It's a little hard to get it back out again, but... Can it fit <laughs> a Magnus? <laughs> it can. Should you? Probably not. <laughs> nice. So, pink crush, perfect, all the way up to hammer shot and strong arm, maxing out the Velcro with the Magnus and the Proton. I don't know, is this as big as it gets? Pretty much. This yeah. is pretty much as big as it gets, and it just... This is probably directed at children. I have a 32 inch waist, um, so any, I don't know, larger adults probably wouldn't be able to get this around their waist. It does say little Valentine on it, so any super hardcore dudes are probably <laughs> not gonna want to buy this anyway. So this was 12 I think, or $13, maybe it was 12 99 I'd say that's worth it. Link in the description box below. But so, so as a standalone holster or waist bag, this is actually not bad. Pretty versatile. And you get two wristers. wristers. So, you know. Well, I think I'd, I'd give this a fairly high grade as far as stuff I've purchased off of Amazon goes. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I guess that's the end of the Little Valentine waste bag review. Yeah. Till next time, you know, it's not about having fun. It's about... I don't know. Wristers. Yeah, and a fun waste bag. And a waste bag. This has an imported smell. <laughs> I don't know if, you, if you've purchased enough things shipped over from China, they definitely have a smell.